I don't know where the littles are at, but we're gonna call. Come on, littles! Let's go! Here they come. Come on, babies! Who wants a snack? Come on, Daryl! You're a little too! Come on, little ones! Hi, babies! Hey, Carl! Hi, Trudy! Hi, sweeties! Hey, uh, Tilly! Hi, everybody! Hello, Carl! Hi, everybody! Hey, Shirley Bird! Come on, sweetie! Good afternoon, my friends! Who's ready to eat? Come on, Tina. Carl, where's Debbie? Where's sweet Debbie at? All right, let me get y'all's feed poured. Trudy, if you'll wait, I'll pour you some in her spot. Trudy. Well, come on, Daryl. Make some room, everybody. I gotta get over there. I don't really wanna have my back to Carl. All right, let Daddy come around. Come on, Trudy, over here, sweetie. Here, babies. Everyone can get a pair. There you go. Hi there, Timmy. Hi, sweeties. All right, come on, sissy. Come to your hay, sweet girl. Y'all settle down. Settle down, sissy. Where's sissy? Sissy, get over here. Ouch, Ringo, you need to wait. Okay, fine, here. You want some on the ground? Ring. Oh, just settle down. Oh, golly, gee, holy moly. Sever you all here, fine, eat, uh, eat in the hay. You want to eat in the hay? Just eat in the hay. Lord, thank you, sissy. Oh, my goodness gracious. Ringo, you have a string. You're dragging around a string. These sweet little pigs. Everyone needs to settle down a little bit. Okay, there's food for everybody. I do not like to feed on the ground, but I don't mind pouring it into the hay. I just don't want the babies eating out of the dirt. There you go, Trudy. All right. Looks like everybody has food if they want some. There's food for everybody. There we go. Hi there, Debbie. Hi, sweetie. I would be cautious as well, my love. I would be cautious as well. Get up there, Candy. Hurry, sweetie, get up there. There we go. Hi, sweet girl. Kendall's like, wow, that's a, that's a high jump. Oh, my goodness gracious. All the babies are coming up. Where's my tater chippers? My tater chips are up. Come on there. What's wrong with you? This is Starbucks. Look at all the dirt. Oh, sissy, be sweet to him. I'm so sorry. All right. Annie, why are you just laying around? This is a little bit bothersome. Annie's just laying here and she's not gotten up to eat. Now, I don't know why, but uh, I really can't explain a lot of behavior. Sometimes you can explain what's going on, you know why, but in this situation, I don't. <laughs> Guys, there's plenty of food all over the place. Some's on the ground, some's on the hay, but there's food for everybody. Right, Tiny Tim? Tell them. He looks like a one of those vehicles that have a mixed paint job, like a two-tone. Oh, Lord, Leonard, really? You just ran Candy off of there. Sorry, Candace. Yeah, Tiny Tim has kind of that two-tone paint job. And then so does Trudy. Oh, look, Candace is back. She's like, okay, thank God Leonard left. And that's not Trudy. Here's Trudy over here. That actually is Pig Newton. He looks wonderful. All right, all of the babies have been fed. Sweetie, why are you over by yourself? What's wrong with you and your little man? Why, how come you guys are not over there eating? Oh. Ah. All right, so friends, there is feed uh, spread all around the pasture. Most of it is on the top of their little place over here. But there's also a feed on top of the hay. I put lots of feed along the ground in the hay where they're not eating on the dirt. They're eating off the hay, which is fine. Same as eating off the grass, in my opinion. But there are some who want to be hand-fed. We're not going to do that. 
I would say out of today's feed up, my biggest issue or my biggest kind of concern would be why Annie is not up to eat. Because that's very unusual. Annie is normally right there in the mix, but today she's lying along the fence watching. So there has to be a reason why she's over there. I'm gonna take the water hose and begin to kind of spray and we're gonna find out if she's just hot. Now, today's not the hottest day we've had. It's actually a fairly, I'm not gonna say it's cool. It's not cool. It's maybe 100 degrees, but it's not a scorching hot afternoon. It's about five o'clock my time. It's a little bit earlier than I normally feed, but I am headed over to, the, okay, here we go. Annie's up now. I'm headed over to the J&L. Annie, you want some water? I'm going to the J&L for a little bit and I need to go ahead and get on out of here pretty soon so I can get there by about six and get a couple of mow hours of mowing in. No, Annie doesn't want water. All right, well, I think she's fine. She's up and looking around now for something to eat. But why she was laying there, I just don't really know. Seems to be okay now though. That's a relief. I will have Jamie keep an eye on her though. Hey, sweetie. Hey, ringers. I love how everyone gets along. There's no fighting during feed time. It's a little bit chaotic there at the beginning when you're first going in, but by now they've all found a place to eat and no one's freaking out. Um, of course, a few of them can't seem to stay in they uh, have skills, y'all. They have skills. They are true in escape artist, and they love to show off their skills. That one right there is eating some of the feed that Carl dropped out of his mouth while he was eating, and so it's falling over on this side of the fence. And Starbucks says, "You know what? I'm just gonna get me an easy meal. I don't have to compete with anybody." And in fact, he doesn't. He's all alone on this side of the fence. But uh, not to worry, he'll go right back in whenever he's ready. And as long as his mom stays in, they won't wander off too far. Now, if she ends up walking around and getting out, then they can travel for a ways. But as of right now, she's gonna stay put. All right, everyone's good? All right, Daddy loves you guys. I'm proud of y'all. You're a great group of, you're a bunch of good babies, okay? You're good. You're good. You're a bunch of good littles. You all want to see a windpipe? Show us your windpipe, baby. Show us your windpipe. You ever seen that before? Is that the craziest thing you've ever seen? Show it to me, baby. Show us your windpipe. Let us all learn about the ostrich family. Oh, boy. How about that, sweetie? So this is a gift that someone sends to little Chris, care of Longhorn Lester. You got a gift from somebody. I got a gift. You got a gift. Can you open it now? I can. Are you nervous? I don't know what it's gonna do. Well, it's not a ticking time bomb, I don't think. I would hope not. What in the world? What is that? Um, is there a note inside the package? Sometimes they'll leave a little note inside there you can read. Who it's from and what it's for. Oh boy, oh, you got a note. Like there is a note. That one right there, Chris. It's read that. It's okay. Read that, Chris. Read it out loud. Poor little Chris. Keep <laughs> the sweat out of his eyes while working with Jamie and Longhorn Lester for sport or sports practice. From Miss Chris. Hey, she's got this. There you go. Same from Miss Chris. All right, Miss Chris. And those are those bandanas? I think they or are. some kind of headband. I think they're like those cool bandanas. A when, cool bandana. When they, when they get you can whipped, use for cool sports off. or for working with Lester or Jamie. That's cute. Thank you, Miss Chris. Thank you. Uh, do you have a favorite color out of all of those? I'm just curious because you wear all kinds of colors. I don't have them. You're not like me. Baby blue is my color. I did not know that until someone told me recently. And then there were a lot of comments about it. And so now all I want to wear is baby blue. Uh, I go off of um, <laughs> what's hanging up in the closet and easiest to reach. You just wear whatever's easiest to reach. Whatever your mom put in the front. Whatever 
whatever got put in the front. Oh, you need a box cutter for those, don't you? Oh, and Chris, they're going to get onto you for that. I have learned that you do that behind the camera, not in front of the camera. Open it? Anything that has to do with anything that's going to get you in trouble. Oh, boy. And so I hope that everyone will give you a little bit of grace this time. Wowzer. It is bandana. That's going to look cool on you, man. It hides my big forehead. Well, it's backwards, though. There's actually a lot of... So I think it's backwards. I think that the... the the heavy, I don't know this for a fact, because I wouldn't know, but I bet that little thing goes in the back. This is probably the front over here. I think, oh, yep. Because I don't know that for a fact. Chris, look at you. Oh, feels nice. That does look good on you, too. Got the hair off my forehead. Wow, how about that? Well, thank you. Your I'm first very... gift in goodie, Chris. First gift. That's awesome. Thank you all so much. That's very sweet of you. And thank you, Chris. You're working your tail off around here, and we love you for it. We really do. Chris comes by every afternoon, Monday through Thursday, and he does different jobs for us. So today, what are you doing today? I'm painting the fence. Painting the fence. Wait, and? Oh, and I'm filling up all <sighs> the waters for the cow. I was going to say, Thursday is his designated day to do all of the waters. He'll do them on Thursday, and then I'll take care of them on Monday. And on Mondays, he's at the Longhorn Lester property helping me over there do stuff. So this week, what have you done this week over here and over there? Well, well uh, Monday and Tuesday, yep. I was at Longhorn Lester yep. and I was putting bricks around the fence yep. to stop the washout. Yeah, so from erosion fence, issues. So the fence doesn't get damaged. Yep. And here, I've been weed eating clean down this fence line where the painters that was here could yeah. get to. Gotcha. And uh, one last question. I won't harass you a whole lot, but um, um, are you more fearful of working with the cows and the heifers and the calves or working there with the bulls and the bull pen? Cows and the heifers. Hey, I, t I tell everybody that. These guys, as even though they're bulls, they're not like that. They're nice. They're nicer than ever. And there's only three of them. And tell me about the working with the cows, well, though. When you get in there, there's like, well, it seems like there's 40 of them. Uh -huh. And they just surround you all the time. <laughs> they do surround you all they the just, time. They just want to watch. Uh-huh. And, uh, and then uh, I'm going to ask you, and this is, is this not the same way it is in life? You find yourself hanging out with a couple of guys, and there's no problems whatsoever. You add a few girls to the mix, and then drama begins. Am I right? You are right. And that doesn't matter how old you are. I'm in my 50s, and that's my problem. And you're in, you're a teenager. That's your problem. Girls, what's wrong with you all? What's wrong with you all, except for Miss Chris? Miss Chris, is, Miss Chris is fine, but the rest of you girls are nothing but drama. That's going to get you in trouble. <laughs> that's going to get me in that's so much trouble, ain't it? Trouble. Thank you, Chris. We love you, buddy. And that was, hey, Chris said it, not me. Okay, I said it, but Chris Chris verified it was true. And y'all, I'm just messing with you. But uh, that's funny. Yeah, we ain't scared of these bulls. These bulls are fine. It's those ladies you got to look out for. Don't let your troubles fester. Come watch Longhorn Lester. <laughs> yeah, something like that.